So this is the Skill Ambassador video for the PCA um, with the new CAD pump. Some of the different things you'll need is this is what the medication cartridges look like. They'll come filled from pharmacy and there will be a little green notch that you have to remove prior to installing this. This is the PCA tubing. Um, when you're connecting it, what you'll end up doing is the tubing will connect here on the CAD pump and then your primary fluids would be down here. So to turn on a pump, the on off button is over here. And it's gonna take a few moments. It's gonna ask us to if we wanna start a new patient, so we'll say yes. And then you would pick your library, which would be PCA Pediatrics. Push select. It'll give you an option for less or greater than 50 kilos. So we'll say less for this example. And they'll give you a couple different drug profiles. So the one we'll select is the morphine 50 milligrams to 50 mLs. And then it's going to ask you to put in your institution's code. And then it'll display everything you've selected so far and it'll ask you if that is correct. So we'll say yes. So then it's going to want you to review all of your settings and this is where you can put in any specific um, things with your particular prescription. So if you have a continuous rate the physician ordered, we can select this and actually go in and go up and down to put whatever rate it might be and then push select and save. So then we already programmed the continuous. If the PCA dose is within our accepted range that we want for our, our orders, we'll just accept the value. And it'll expect you to accept every value before it'll actually run this. And you'll see a green check mark appear when you accept. So there's the PCA lockout, the four hour limit. And then this tells you how much reservoir volume you have so it shows 50 mls within the cartridge that we have so after we accept all those we'll push next and it's going to ask us to prime tubing you always just need to make sure that the tubing is not connected to your patient so we'll say yes and we can push prime and it'll prime all the way through the tubing once it's primed through we can push stop prime and it'll ask us if we want to start the pump so we would say yes so if your pump's alarming that your um, reservoir is empty and you need to change to a new cartridge of medication, you would need your CAD pump key. You would go over to the side and you can twist it to unlock. And then you would pull the notch down. So it's just saying my CAD pump is detached. Um, we're not gonna pull any medication from the old from the old, um, let me just silence this real quick. From the old cartridge, you can slit it right here and waste the medication, but then you would just dispose of this in the purple waste containers. So then if this, for your new cartridge, what you're gonna do is you'll see underneath here, there's a little notch. You'll simply hook in here, and then this notch is in, and then you would pull your lever up and relock your cat pump. It'll say set reservoir volume. At that time, you can place, it says the reservoir volumes remaining 49.6, and you can. it's asking you if you wanna reset it, and you can say yes, and it'll ask for the code. So you can enter whatever your reservoir volume should be. So if it was truly 50, you could actually go up and change it to 50 and push save. We're not, not prime tubing right now, so if you want to find out reports about how your patient's doing, it'll show you the um, given and how many requested. So it shows you when you push reports, you can select this. It's going to show you the amount given, um, the given volume, how many doses were attempted, and how many were actually given. And you can go over here if you wanted to and clear the given doses. Thank you for joining us for this CAD PCA pump video.